text-based editing is an awesome new feature in Adobe Premiere Pro. It allows you to edit things like your podcast using only the text transcript. Now, just straight up at the front of this video, it'd be great to see this feature in Adobe Audition. But for now, you can edit your podcast using text. It's very slick and it works inside Adobe Premiere Pro. So I'm gonna create a new file and I'm gonna call it podcast up here at the top left. And then I'll select my audio file here the Adobe Audition podcast. So that's a great template to use. Let's create that file. Now you'll see I've been thrown straight into the work view here where I can work with a transcript. If you're not there already, click up in the top right and click text-based editing. That'll get you everything you need to edit your podcast with the text only. Now I'm going to double click on the audio file and you'll see here it gives me the option to transcribe the source. This is an hour long podcast. So let's do it. Transcribe, language is English and speaker labeling. Yes, I've got two speakers. I've got me, the host, and a guest. So I definitely like that feature. That's a really cool AI feature that Adobe have implemented there with the text transcription. Click transcribe and then go and make a cup of tea and come back. Now, obviously, we get a little bit antsy during the transcription process. We've got this brand new little status area up here that shows us all the tasks in action. So if anything's processing in the background, click at the top right here. It's got a tick if everything's completed and a circle if it's processing your stuff. But cup of tea made, transcription done. Now we can start editing. And in order to do that, we're going to need to drag the audio file down here and create a sequence. Now, obviously, Premiere is designed for video as well. So I'm just going to scoot video out the way and make audio center stage by just dragging and making this track nice and big. So if I use the plus and minus keys now, I can zoom in and out and get really tight on everything. But we won't be working with crazy waveforms in this tutorial. We'll be working with text. And as you can see here, it has done a good job of transcribing into different speakers here, speaker one and speaker two, uh, everything that's been said. Let's play back and watch how the text is highlighted as I hit the space bar now. My guest today is Jason Levine, the principal worldwide evangelist for Adobe. He travels the globe, inspiring and educating on Adobe Creative Cloud, uh, focusing on workflows in video, in audio, in mobile as well. Uh, he also like... Okay, so say I wanted to just cut a chunk out of that introduction. Say I wanted to cut the bit out about travel and just focus on the live stream part of the intro. You just highlight the text and, and hit delete. It really is as simple as that and boom, it does it. So now you can see there's a couple of uh, three dot icons here. I'll show you what they do in a second. Let's play back and listen to the edit that's been made. My guest today is Jason Levine, the principal worldwide evangelist for Adobe. Uh, he also live stream. Ah, yeah, that's a bit of a dodgy cut. cut. That's not gonna pass. <laughs> it's definitely not gonna cut pass my cut book. Uh, so, the, the breaths or the ers and the arms are represented by these three dots. So if I want, I can get rid of the first one. And notice how Premiere actually does a great job of highlighting there in the timeline exactly what is going on. So that is really helpful. I'll delete that first breath. And let's listen now. Let's audition that again from here. Worldwide evangelist for Adobe. Uh, he also live Do you know, that's actually really not bad at all, is it? Now, if I was to be particular, I might like make further edits to this. Premiere is obviously not the right tool. So again, please audition put this in. Um, but for now, you know, you can you can sort of tighten it up a little bit. If I wanted to make a change in Premiere, what I'd probably do is use the rolling edit tool and just like really zoom in tight like this and just kind of move this along. You see it's working frame by frame. Adobe. So that was a better cut, actually. I like that cut. Or Adobe. Uh, he also... It's not too bad. There is another little hack you can do in Premiere Pro to get it more audio friendly. Right click on the timeline up here and then look down here and you'll see show all audio time units. And now we're working in audio time units and not frames because frames are very large and audio doesn't quite like frames because it's not very precise. But now I can be much more precise with my edit. See that? So I'm using the rolling edit tool here to be really precise. That should be really good. I should be happy with that. For Adobe, uh, he also live streams. Yeah, that's pretty natural. So you see, there are ways that you can make it work. Obviously, this would work really, really well in Adobe Audition in, say, the multi-track display. Uh, but right now, that is a good combo of tools to smarten things up. I might also do things like crossfades again. Uh, you'd have to go into the effects area up here, and you'd 
look for something like constant power, okay? And you grab that and drag that. That is a crossfade. Again, not as elegant as like dragging waveforms and boxes uh, in Audition, but over here, constant power does does a rough job. Obviously, that's a massive crossfade. So I can tighten it up like this and Adobe. Uh, he also, hey, that's a nice crossfade. That sounds really good. Let's listen to the whole thing and let's use the text again. My guest today is Jason Levine, the principal worldwide evangelist for Adobe. Uh, he also live streams. For yeah, I'm really happy with that edit. So you can see how you can do that. But we're focusing on text-based editing here. Uh, so let's see what else we've got. Let's go later on in the podcast and see what we've got. Notice there's a lot of dots here. So let's just play something here from this. Very, part. very old school when you think about it. Uh, you know, there was a bit of... OK, so it's highlighted an R. Uh, so I wonder if I can just select that and delete it. And then let's listen back. Let's go back to very, very old school. Very, very old school when you think about it. Uh, you know, there was a bit of a feat. OK, so there's just a little bit of the R uh there again. So we might need to go in. And again, I'd select this rolling edit tool. Shortcut key N, by the way, to access that quickly. And then we can go ahead and roll this out a bit. Uh, you know, so that that's not too bad. About it. Uh, you know, there... Let's move that over a bit. You know, there is a bit of a... Oh, that's not too bad. About it. You know, there is a... And then I might put in another constant power here to... Uh, and then back to the V tool, which is the selection tool here. And then I can select that crossfade and make it really short. You know, there is a... Think about it. You know, there is a bit of a fee there. And we're, we're getting really good with our edits there. So you can see how you can use a combination here of text-based editing and the tools available to you in Premiere, like the uh, rolling edit tool and the constant power to do crossfades and... And things like that. So you can go through, you can check out all of this. The best thing about it is you can actually download this transcript as a file. So if I was to go up to the three dots up here, you've got all kinds of options here. Um, but the most important, you've got export here. You can export the transcript. You can send it to a text file, a CSV file if you need. I'd say text file is probably the best idea. And then you can go and save it somewhere uh, into your downloads, for instance, and call this AAP02 uh, transcript. There we go. And that's saved. So now I can put that up on a blog post that accompanies this audio. And obviously, this is not just for audio. So Premiere, obviously, primarily a video editing tool. If you have a podcast that also has video cameras rolling, that's brilliant because you can text edit here and make it really slick and get the audio version mixed down too. So I'm really excited with where this feature is going. Like I say, I hope to see it in Adobe Audition at some point. If you would also like to see that, please give a thumbs up and put a comment down below because I'm sure Adobe are watching the comments. And uh, yes, we definitely, I, I would definitely like to see text-based editing in Adobe Audition. And a final step here is to go to export and get that file out of there. Now, obviously, again, we're working in video formats here, but what you can do is you can go and look for presets here and if you scroll down and look for um, more presets here we can actually search for if we search for audio uh, let's have a look here waveform audio is available as an option so we could select that as a preset and that would be absolutely fine. Uh, there's MP3 option available as well, uh, especially for podcasting. And obviously, that is a custom preset now. If you want to dial in more to what kind of MP3 you're mixing out to uh, or exporting to in this case, you'd uh, pop open the audio tab here. And you can see it's going to be a stereo MP3. We could make that mono if we want. A bit rate of 192 kbps. We might bump that down to 128 uh, to keep it nice and standardized. And then you simply just click export and boom. Boom, straight away it exports your audio and you'll have an mp3 file ready to upload of your podcast edited using text-based editing.